Yep, here we are again, in Within Scary. The completionist in me just won't let this game lie. I'm not satisfied with just getting endings 1 and 2. Let's face it, they were pretty bad endings. There's a good ending out there somewhere, and I want to get it in this video, whether it's 3 or 4, or both of them. I want to see if I can get it in this video. I want to see if I can maybe find the easter egg. I want to see if I can complete all the puzzles, find all the documents. I should say at this point, by the way, watch my previous video, the first video on Within Scary before watching this one, because I'm going to be rushing through a lot of this game trying to get this third and fourth ending. But uh, if you're ready, let's crack on. So we try the door, grab the lockpicks, open the door, explore the cabin, realize that some asshole called Mika has stolen your boat, run down the path, and then get elbow dropped. Wake up inside the mansion, pick up the flashlight, then find all the gears. Put the gears on the box, collect the key, and say hi. Use the key to open the box, collect the handle, use the handle on the gate upstairs. Try and say hi, open the safe. The numbers and the shapes are random each playthrough, by the way. Collect one third of the key, go into the ensuite and pick up another third, Go through the door in the corner, and pick up the final third. Get locked in, get spooked, use the key on gate 1 downstairs. Avoid getting crushed, grab the spider key from the cinema room, and open up the spider doors. In here you'll find one of four magnetic keys. And the other one. Pick up the bolt cutters. Break this red padlock. Inside you'll find your second magnetic key. Say hello again and then break the other padlock. Don't trip over the body. Go collect the camera. So it's very important that you capture as many paranormal events as you can. You want at least 20. Grab another magnetic key. Get ready to take some pictures. Admire the new room layout. When she leaves the room, snap a few more. Go into that room and collect the key. Head back the way you came. Snap a picture of the body moving. Head back upstairs to gate 2 and use the key. When you turn the corner and see the clock, start taking photos. Get ready to take some more pictures as soon as the light goes out. Collect the last magnetic key in the master bedroom. Open up the safe, but snap some pictures before you finish. Collect the first secret ingredient. Head downstairs and use all those magnetic keys on this box. Grab key 3 and the crowbar. Remove the boards. Say hi. Use gate key number three. Enter the cabin and snap some pictures to your left. Try not to die. Leave the room and get another picture. Walk around and explore until you can hear some banging. Wait for the door to open. And then wait for another door to open. Say hello to your friend. Come on, can you hear me? And pick up the lockpicks. When you leave the room, look left and get ready to snap some pictures. Use the lockpicks on all the locked doors. If you've taken at least 10 captures, you can go through this door and open another safe. Collect the second secret ingredient. When you try and leave heading right for the exit, look to your left and snap more pictures. Head back up to the master bedroom area. But don't go and investigate those shots. If you have at least 20 captures, you should be able to open this door and find another safe. Open that, and you get the third secret ingredient. Using the lockpicks, open these two doors. Pick up the fuse. Insert the fuse. Head up to the attic and pick up the stepladder. Put the stepladder down in the kitchen, and reach up to get the cross. And all that gets us to the point where we can either choose ending 1 or 2. But I don't want to shoot myself in the head, and I certainly don't want to blow the place up either. What I want to do is see if I can get ending 3 or 4. And I think that's got something to do with the box in that first cabin. And I think the box in the first cabin has something to do with the clocks. So let's properly analyse them, shall we? Now here's something that I don't really understand. Why are there two white clocks? There's only one blue, only one red, only one green. Unless, well hang on. Is that... Maybe it's not white. Maybe this is the black one. Which means this is one? I've tried ordering them to their speed, both slowest and fastest. Doesn't seem to work. 
Hold on a sec, let me try this. That is exactly one minute. One minute, right there. Okay, so... If this is the black one, is that why that's one? Because it does one rotation? But then... Ah... It might be how many times the hand can rotate in a minute. Maybe this is used as an example. Maybe it is within 60 seconds. They are all slightly different speeds. Well, maybe not the, the blue and the green one, but yeah. The red one's slightly faster, and the white one, I think, is the fastest. I haven't tried that. I haven't tried that. Right, I need to go and I need to go and time these properly. Okay, I'm back from timing clock hands, and yes, it's as interesting as it sounds. But I think I've got my notes down here. Here we go. Okay, so, yeah. The, the blue and the green one are pretty much the same speed, and they are pretty much 15 seconds. So you'd think, you know, 15, 30, 45 a minute, they can go around four times. So maybe blue and green should be four. All right? The red one's slightly faster. Well, okay, let's just let's just fucking try this. Okay, so blue, right. So red, that's faster. That's that's got to be 6 or 7, I think. Let's try 6. Uh so it's going to be 1 and then it's going to be 4. And then I think this is going to be 7 or 8 based on the the rate that the the white hand was moving around that clock. So 7. No. Okay. 4 7 1 4 Seven. No. Uh, four, seven, one, four, eight. Yes! Okay. Okay. I'm fucking happy with myself right now. The work paid off, and now I am treated with not another secret ingredient like I thought I was gonna get, but actually, gate key number four. <laughs> right. Ooh, hell. <laughs> right, okay. Yep. Well, uh, we're in uncharted territory now. I was not expecting that. Okay, uh, so there's only one gate four, and that's back inside the mansion. Yeah, okay. I don't know if this is going to lead me to ending three, or four, or both. The true ending? Maybe the rest of the documents? I hope so, because I don't know where the others might be. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, man. Okay. So, I think we should probably use one of the shortcuts that I opened up with the crowbar, right? Let's go through here. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. I tried every combination, every which way, it felt like. Okay, number four is now open. All right. And we are treated with another very large door. Which I can't use. Are you kidding? <laughs> Okay, hang on, there's a note here. Right, so this is going to be the second to last document, that's right. It's not difficult to bake a cake. All you need are a few things. A saucepan, very salty water, all three of my mystery ingredients, and some heat. Three mystery ingredients? I thought there were four. Where was it? Yeah, I mixed all four ingredients together. Hmm, okay. Interesting, all right. Uh... Well, let's see if we can find that last document, right? There is another door back here, thankfully. Let's try this one. Okay, good stuff. Alright. Okay, we got the sort of storeroom here, and- Oh, wonderful! Oh, look at this! We've got hatred, suffering, hope, love, desire, and in the center, pain. And that is the last document, right. Let's have a little look at this. The job is done. The Holy Cross works. Let them all burn in hell. Sincerely, Mika. <laughs> I guess she wrote that just before stealing my boat. Okay. Right. Okay, can we get... Oh, look, there's a boat back there. But this is locked. Right. Uh, the fuse is in and everything. Can I maybe mess around with the fuse? Maybe... I don't know, maybe I need to power this down to unlock it? Let's try that. No, I can't seem to pry this out. I can't remove the fuse, so... How do we get through that door? Is there a key somewhere? There's nothing else to find around this storeroom. Certainly no key. Bloodstain down there, but... 
How the hell do we get this open? Because we've got to get it open, right? We need to get to that boat. That's surely going to be one of the endings. Um, so, right. Let's have another look at this as well. I mean, I've got all the mystery ingredients, right? I've got all three of those. I'm going to need a saucepan and salty water. I guess I can just get that from the dock, right? I mean, I think I crossed a, a sea to get here. This is an island, right? Uh, so, a saucepan. Where the hell's the saucepan? Maybe if I find the saucepan, I find the key. I have looked in every kitchen. Truth be told, I've looked everywhere. I haven't found a saucepan, I haven't found a key. Right. I might be about to do something very, very stupid, but I can't think of anything else to do. I've searched through every kitchen. I've searched everywhere. I haven't found a key, I haven't found a saucepan. But I am now wondering what would happen if I pick this gun up, knowing that I've got the cross. Because I'm also thinking, what the hell is the point in the cross? I'm gonna try it. Okay. The door did not close behind me. I can leave. Okay, hang on. Let's see. Okay. It says something different, too. This is a gun with a single bullet inside. I guess I'm not listening to the voices. I'm... Yeah, I, I'm not gonna kill myself. Not this time. I'm not getting anywhere near that chair, just in case. Right. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe this is the key that I was after. Maybe I can just shoot the lock? Maybe that's what the bullet's for? It's not for my head, it's for the lock. Oh my god, that would be amazing. I'm so glad that paid off as well. I'm so glad that I took the risk and it, it, it didn't get me killed. At least not immediately. Right, let's try this again, come on. Yes! I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, the gun's gone, that's it! Oh, amazing, okay. Look at this. Okay, we found a boat. Amazing. Right. And there it is, in my inventory. I've just slipped it in my pocket. I finally found a way off of this island. This is the path I have decided to take. It's time to leave and never look back. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be ending three or four, but there you go. Oh no, is that the- Oh fucking hell. That- right. So the saucepan and the boat are through here. An empty saucepan. Right. Okay. Which one do I go for? I've already picked up the boat. Uh, apparently this is the path I have decided to take. I think I should probably head back to the dock. Yeah, okay. If I'm gonna get both endings, I'm gonna have to go through this game twice, right? <laughs> I just want to leave, man. I just want to leave. So I'm going to take the boat. Nah, I've been there, done that. Not going to happen, buddy. Sorry. Okay. And back we go. So, how do we launch the boat? Oh, it's fading out. Is it doing it automatically? Yes! I escaped the island with my life and returned home. Good stuff. Finally, a good ending. Maybe not the best, but a good one. My friend was okay, and I met Mika for the first time. Right, yeah, did she apologize? She was held captive on that island for several years after she was trafficked from her hometown. Right, yeah. She met many others who had a similar story on the island. I bet she did. And I'm sure not all of them survived. One day, Mika found a book containing a ritual to dissolve all her problems. However, she did not want to hurt the other girls. She didn't know the others would be possessed and killed, too. Right, okay. In the end, she was forever grateful to me for arriving when I did. I wonder if the demon is forever bound to that island. Hmm. 
all that concentrated evil. Maybe. All right, there you go. There's another ending. Now, was that ending three or was that ending four? Let's take a look, shall we? Drum roll, please. Okay, that was three. All right. Fair enough. Um, I got everything apart from the Easter egg. Maybe the Easter egg is something to do with ending four. And ending four surely has something to do with the saucepan using those secret ingredients. Right. I'm going to go back one more time. I'm going to do all of that again. Hopefully it's going to be worth it. Here we are again. Now this time, I'm not going to pick up the boat. At least not yet. This time, I'm focusing on the saucepan. Okay? So according to this, all I need is a saucepan, very salty water, and the three mystery ingredients, which I've already got. And I've got the saucepan, so I just need that salty water. And I think the best place to get it would again be the dock. I'm just not taking the boat this time. So let's head back there and let's go collect some salty water. Okay. I mean, surely this is the best place to get some, isn't it? There you go. There's the prompt. All right. So let's take a look, shall we? It's a saucepan with lots of salt water inside. Okay, so I've got everything that I need. So if I go back to... Uh, ooh, which one was it? This one? Yeah. Yeah, mixing all four ingredients together. I mixed it all with heat as close to the cemetery as possible. This is how you bake a cake. Right. So I think that's going to be the oven in that first cabin back here. Because that is about as close to the cemetery as you can get. You've got a, a graveside view from the window. Here we are. And it's the only oven you can use. Can you use it? Can I put it on the hob? Can I put it inside? Can I, can I do something with it? There's the cemetery right out there. Um, okay, hang on. Maybe I need to drag and drop or something? Or... Or, uh, hmm. I don't know. Well, this isn't exactly going to plan. It's right there. Oh. Well, hang on. There's one other place I could try. The other cabin. That also has a graveside view. So, yeah. Let's maybe try the kitchen there. Thinking about it, yeah, that might be a little bit closer. This one? Ah, yes! There's the prompt! Okay. Alright, so what do we got? A saucepan with a strange liquid inside. A concoction of these three secret ingredients, I assume? Okay, so... Yeah? The Holy Cross works, let them burn in hell, right? I, I, I think... I think I've, I've made it all, right? Now what do I do with it? Hello! <laughs> No, can't seem to interact with you. I can't seem to use it with you guys either. I guess it's got to be that pentagram on the floor then. Oh, oh, there's the prompt. You have to be on this side of the box. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So is this dispelling the evil? Is this doing what it's supposed to be doing? All right. Maybe I should be fetching the boat now. Maybe I've, I've done what I need to. Oh! Oh shit. What the fuck? I think I just walked right through it. I teleported somewhere. Where the hell is this? And who's this? Oh, this is awkward. Why would you come here uninvited? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to make this quick. This game is translated in five languages. <laughs> So imagine how much more difficult my life is for each extra word I add in here, right? Oh yeah. Good job for finding this Easter egg. Hey! I'm very proud of you. Thanks! Now please proceed to the door for your reward. The door? <laughs> Alright. Well, we found the Easter egg, and presumably this has got something to do with ending four as well, right? Turn Vex Games. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! <laughs> right. Okay. And now what? Sorry. I wanted to scare you one last time. <laughs> well, it did work. Okay. So is that ending four? 
Have I done it? Have I completed this game? Have I done everything you can possibly do? I think so. That's it. Four of four. All right. Awesome. Yep. I think I took about as many photos as you can, found all the cassettes, found all the notes, found the Easter egg. I've done everything this game's got to offer. And to be honest, I never want to play this again. <laughs> it was a fun experience, though. I really did enjoy it. And yeah, I mean, I must have, right? Because I went through the game four or five times. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you appreciate it seeing the last two endings. I think they were certainly the better of the four. And I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. Uh, four, seven, one, four, eight. Yes! Gate key number four. <laughs> right. Ooh, hell. <hey>, <laughs> okay, we got the sort of storeroom here, and oh, wonderful. Oh, look at this. Let them all burn in hell. Sincerely, Mika. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not gonna kill myself. Not this time. I'm not getting anywhere near that chair, just in case. Right, let's try this again. Come on. Yes! Nah, I've been there, done that. Hello! <laughs> you have to be on this side of the box. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Turn vex games. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs>